The graph of the potential energy versus the interatomic distance is useful for representing the interactions between atoms. So if we consider these hydrogen atoms and they come closer together, you start getting some attractive forces between the nuclei and the electrons. And as the atoms keep getting closer and closer together, you start getting repulsion between the electrons when their orbitals overlap. And the repulsive force increases rapidly because the nuclei will also repel each other. And then superimposing the attractive and repulsive forces, you obtain this graph of the force versus the interatomic distance. Now from electricity and magnetism, the force, being a conservative force, is equal to the negative of the slope of the potential energy with respect to the interatomic distance. So therefore at this point, where the attractive force balances the repulsive force, so the net force between the atoms is zero, the potential energy is at a minimum. And this here is called the bond energy, or the energy required to separate the atoms. And this length here is the bond length. So just to give you an idea of the bond between hydrogen atoms, the bond energy is 432 kilojoules per mole, and the bond length is 0.741 angstroms, or 74.1 picometers. And one picometer is 10 to the minus 12 meters.